Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to find the value of x, so the length of this line here, and the hint is we're going to use Pythagoras. We know that we're going to use Pythagoras because you can see it's a right angled triangle, there are two sides that we know the length of, this one and this one, and the third side we don't know, so that's going to be a Pythagoras situation. First thing, as usual, work out which side is the hypotenuse. We said in the last video that it's the longest side. It's going to be that one there. You can also check this longest side here does not touch the right angle. So let's label it hypotenuse. And now we're going to label the sides A, B and C. The hypotenuse side has to be C. And the other two sides are A and B. Doesn't really matter which one we pick. Let's make that one A. Let's make that one B. OK, let's write down the Pythagoras formula. Here we go. And now I'm going to write down these values that we know, the 25 and the 7.3. Common mistake is people put the 25 in the wrong spot. So the 25 is the hypotenuse, which is C, so it has to go here. The 7.3 is A, so I'm going to write that underneath the A. Remembering to put squared. And now the B, we don't know what that is, but we've labelled it as letter X. So I'm going to write letter X like that. At this stage, I'm going to work out uh, what's 25 squared and what's 7.3 squared. You can do that later on if you want to, but I'm just going to calculate it now. So 25 squared, here it is, and 7.3 squared, Notice after each calculation, I've written it underneath the value that I was calculating. OK, so now here's x squared. Still don't know what it is, so I'm going to copy it down. The goal is to get x squared by itself. So I'm going to subtract 53.29 away from both sides. So I'm going to take it away. So here we go. And that's my value of x squared. Let's write it down. Right, almost there. Final answer we want is just x by itself. So to do the opposite of squaring, we're going to square root this number. So, as usual, I'm going to use the answer function on my calculator. And there it is. There's x. Let's round this off to one decimal place. OK. If you want to do slightly less working out, uh, you can do all of this in one calculation. Let me just scroll up for you. What you can do from this line here, and we should always write this line, we can go straight away to writing down the subtraction, the 25 squared, subtract 7.3, and we know that in the last step we were going to have to square root the whole thing. So you can write one big square root symbol 
and that's your final answer for x. You can also type it in one line in your calculator like this. Square root 25 squared minus 7.3 squared. Just check that on your calculator you can see the horizontal line of the square root go all the way across. Your calculator might want you to write brackets in like this. It'll just depend on what model you have. Okay, there's your final answer all in one step. Okay, this here is your minimum expected working out. If you want to do it all in one step, you can do that. But I must see this writing before your final answer. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.